Why is it you? No, I... I didn't... I didn't arrange this. I was told to come here. Mm. I believe you. How have you been? I'm fine. And you? Oh, I'm okay. Busy with palace matters. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm in charge of the management of treasures. Oh, I heard. I saw it in the Imperial Bulletin. Well done. Uh, what white porcelain does His Highness like? Uh, basin set. And tea set. Oh. I'll remember that when I go back. Yours are beautiful. Thanks. You promised to teach me to make it. Now you're in the Royal Palace. You made the first ever white porcelain. If you like it, I can make it for you. You don't have to. It's fine. I'm making other things. Would you prefer a teacup or a vase? Anything. I think the first vase you made was really lovely. It's a shame Her Highness took the first white porcelain piece. But that isn't the first piece. Huh? This is the first piece. It is small, but it was made first. The first piece ever made. <sighs> hey! Greetings, Highness. Rise. You're back. Come. <laughs> Thank you, Excellency. Get up now. Come, get up. Why did you bow to me? The steward gave the Imperial decree. Your division has got a 30% raise. Oh, Yuan Fu said there'd be other rewards. I guess he meant this. Well, don't thank me. Let's thank His Majesty. Highness, we will never forget that you saved our lives. From now on, we'll follow you no matter what happens. I saved your lives? If you hadn't been so smart and forced us to check all the accounts, we'd have been like those maids in the accounts division, imprisoned or beaten to death. <gasps> Did people die? The deficits were high. Concert Xiao ordered them punished. Several senior kitchen maids drowned themselves. And Madam Chi from the Accounts Division hung herself last night. She did? Mm. I saw her at the ceremony. You're dismissed. Yes. yes. The joy and excitement that Lu Jun had felt after becoming a female official suddenly disappeared. Although she didn't realize this court intrigue had started because of her, Lu Jun began to feel icy chills down her spine. Sister! Sister, you're back. Were you busy? Hey, why are you looking so pale? Oh, I just caught a small chill. Danyang, please pass this message to Steward Yuan. Tell him I want to see him. I'll do it right away. John? 
I'm late because of some palace stuff. It's fine. You're not that late. Chan, why do you look listless? I came to ask a question. Go on. Ataya Pond, if we were alone, would you have taken the belt I gave you? Your answer. Can we stop quarreling then? I've never blamed you. Never once. <laughs> I told you there'd be a good show, didn't I? You did. <laughs> hey! <gasps> Quiet! Ow! You've lost. Pay up! You were serious? Prince Chang Guang gave me this to buy something for Madame Lu. I mean, hey, I... Uncle Zhang said that you like to gamble any time that you have money. He's right. Yes, but... Ah, calm down. You might as well lose it to me rather than someone else. Oh, huh? but <laughs> half the money is mine. Can you give me my half back? Hmm? <laughs> Keep it. It's yours. Why did you just forgive me? I just suddenly realized this palace is very big and cold. And since I became an official, people pretend to be friendly. But I don't trust anyone but Madam Young and you. I was angry at you at first, but then I was thinking, We've been through so much together. You aren't a snobbish person at all. That night you weren't sure. You always treat me well. I shouldn't have treated you in that way, in anger. Listen, I'm a fool too. If I'd known the meaning of the belt you gave me, even if it meant death, I'd have taken it. So, my sewing's not that bad? Of course it's not. But Uncle Jong said... He said... Your sewing is absolutely terrible. Making it hard to get married. <sighs> then give it back! It's a cold night. And you want to undress me? What's on your mind? <laughs> Nonsense. He also said you'd be a terrible wife to anyone else. So I have to accept you, reluctantly. Huh? Did you just say that? Lu Jin, I'm joking. Mm. Jen, since I gave you the jade pendant, you've become an insider. Though I didn't know the meaning of this belt before. A northern Chi Jade pendant is not given lightly. I wonder how many you've given away. Perhaps the Gao family has dozens. You might have been giving them away for years. Lu Jen, the pendant I gave you is like the white tiger you made. It's the only one. <sighs> it isn't a love token. It's some clay I molded for fun. And in the kiln, it just became white. But I should thank you. If you hadn't come barging in, I would never have solved the mystery of the white porcelain. I'm glad I could contribute. Now, what's my reward? Huh? <gasps> You're a fool. How is this foolish? You will be one of us soon. Hey, Zan. I have something very important to say. We might be very close just now, but I hope you'll stay out of my business. You know what I mean. 
If I become a sixth rank official, I'll be able to get the Supreme Court to reinvestigate my father's case and clear my own name. I know you're close with His Majesty. Perhaps I could get promoted with a scratch of your pen. But I want to settle this matter alone. Chen, you worry a lot. His Majesty helps me because I'm Prince Changguang's guard. I can't fend for myself, let alone you. Did she try to harm you again? Yes. I checked her accounts. She was mad. She took a lot of my savings. That's no good. A palace worker needs to socialize. You must save some money. I know. His Majesty gave me some gold, and I also have some savings. So you can buy an official title somewhere else. Jen. I've considered that very much. I thought about it and decided to stay here as a lowly guard. At least then I can see more of you. But you should think of your future too. Zan? Hmm? That's not all. What is it? No matter what happens, tell me directly. Don't lie to me. Maybe you did at Taiye Pond, but I hate the thought. And if you must lie, give me a hint. Like you can touch your eyebrow or scratch your left ear. Because I'm actually pretty dumb. Almost as dumb as you. <sighs> Listen, I will believe whatever you say. So just don't lie to me, all right? Yes. Even if I'm forced to lie one day, I'll touch my eyebrow. Jen, listen to me. I'll never make you unhappy again. I promise. Actually... Go look over there! Go! Quick! Greetings, Highness. Please rise. Show them to me. Yes. as white as jade. This is unique porcelain. Yun Fu, you're dismissed. Please guard the door. Let no one in. We have something to discuss. Yes. Highness, what are your instructions? What else could there be? I just want to chat with you. John was feeling down a few days ago. Now he's all smiles. It's nice to see. And I really want to know how he begged for your forgiveness. Because you let him off easily. Highness. Don't be shy. John's one of my most trusted people. And you, well, you're his best friend. Which makes you my best friend too. I don't understand this constant nonsense about girls. Consort Xiao's angry with me, but even if I'm accommodating, well, she's... <sighs> hey, he's been emperor so long, but for Consort Xiao, he has not spoken to any concubine. It's strange this beautiful girl is able to please him. <laughs> yes, Consort Xiao. Which beautiful girl is with His Majesty? No, no one special. An internal affairs official. Delivered some porcelain. I would like to see it. Uh, but His Majesty told us no one can go in. Look. Oh. Here. <gasps> Huan Yun, right on time. Look at this batch of white porcelain. I'm not interested in that junk. And who are you? Head of Treasures Division, Lu Zhen. Greetings, Consort Xiao. Look at me. So, 
Her Highness found one that looks just like me. That must have been hard. <laughs> you dare to trespass here in the Zhaoyang Hall? The audacity! What is this? Pardon me? I possess the Phoenix Seal, and I want to teach her a lesson. What is it? You want to seize that authority? No, you're mistaken. She makes white porcelain. She came today to deliver some. And that's all? Well, we talked about other porcelain too. Just chatting. And yet you lock the door, tell Yuan Fu to keep guard outside and forbid my entry? Highness, do you really think I'm that stupid? Huan Yun, we were just talking, that's all. Royal Concert Show, please just listen to me. There is nothing between his- oh, Shut up! You do not speak to me! Lu Jin, you okay? Yes. Huan Yun, have you had enough? Listen, we were... we were just talking... You speak to me so casually. You're lying! No more! She tried to seduce His Highness. Take her and beat her to death! Nobody move! Huan Yun, you've gone overboard. Hurting her for no reason. You don't act like a consort! So why don't act like a consort? You're so upset because I hit her? Gaoyun, you promised you would marry me. Then you became emperor, and you filled the palace with all sorts of disgusting women. And I took it. But this time, I can't take it. Playing with this wench, and right here in Zhaoyang Hall. Be quiet. This is slanderous. Do you realize how well I treat you? How did Zhao Lupin die? Why did Xu Chongyan go crazy? But have I said anything about that? We weren't fooling around. You really disappointed me. You're disappointed. <laughs> Gao Yin, don't forget, you're the liar here. Phoenix Seal? I'll be acting Empress? It's obvious. I'm not in your heart. But... Today, I'm going to kill Lu Jin. Let's just see. What you can do! Your Majesty! Highness? Your Majesty! Highness. Your Majesty! Highness. Go now! Go now! Go now! Hunter shall no! Move! Capture her! Hey, stop! Hey, stop! Let me go! Let me go! Let go! Let go! Official Lu Jen, you're charged with trespass and trying to seduce his royal highness, you'll be beaten to your death! Oh no, I'm innocent! I swear it! If I say you're guilty, you're guilty! All of you, stop! Onya, I already told you, there is nothing between us two. <laughs> and if you have to kill her, you have to kill me first! Lu Jen, get up. You're fine. Lu Jen, you've suffered a grievance. You should go. Uh, uh, Highness, it's medicine time. Fetch a sedan chair and take Lu Jen home. Yes. Easy. When his highness left, Huan Yun regretted it. She knocked on his door, but he refused to see her. 
Good. She got her back for me. It's the first time. His Highness has opposed Consort Xiao at Chaoyang Hall. The people were shocked. I think that a good show's coming. How is Lu Jun now? You didn't hear? Her forehead is injured. <laughs> I hear Consort Xiao hit her really hard. She's just jealous at heart. Take Hashima cream. Give it to Lu Jun. Mm. Tell her I want her to have a good rest. If she has a problem, she can approach me. <laughs> yes. Lu Jun has all the luck in the world to have received your attention. <laughs> <laughs> Go. Get someone to leak the news around Xu Wen Hall. That Lu Jun was beaten. Tell everyone. Hmm? Yes. Hmm. She is so cruel. She hit me once too. Thank goodness for Hashima cream. I was given some by His Majesty himself. It's much better than the Imperial Physician's treatments. You must apply thrice daily. And then you'll be fine. <sighs> A woman's face is her life. Yes, Excellency. <sighs> Consort Xiao is really intolerant. Even if you do resemble her, it isn't your fault. Had I foreseen this, I wouldn't have encouraged you to be an official. If you had stayed in Qingjing Hall, you would be fine. Thank you, madam, for your kindness. Remember, bear no grudge against her. If you want to survive, don't oppose her. You'll be all healed soon. You must pretend that nothing happened. Continue your duties. Then, people will know you're strong. Thanks for the advice. <coughs> Highness, <coughs> Prince Chang Guang. Highness? Are you drinking? You found out. I'm useless. I couldn't stop her. How's Jen now? You didn't check up on her? She's hiding in her office. She hasn't left. Chris Chang Guang, don't worry. I got a close look today. Madame Lu has that little injury, but otherwise, she's fine. Really, don't worry about her. John, go check up on her. Apologize to her for me. <sighs> she's a proud woman. This incident? She wouldn't want me to know of it. It's all my fault. I had a nice time chatting with her. Thank God I didn't say... The outcome would have been terrible. Highness. John. It's all my fault. I couldn't stop Huan Yun. I know I've let her down. But she can't do this! John, you should send Lu Jen somewhere else so she will be safe. Highness, Jen's incident was not your fault. I was negligent. From now on, I'll protect her better. I wish I could find my own soulmate. When Lu Jen talked of you, she sounded so happy. Why can't that be between Huan Yun and me. You still didn't take the tonic we delivered? Rest assured, the physician has checked. His Highness is fine. Xuan. Be honest with me. Did I go overboard? 
Highness, Bujin is just a little fish. If you're unhappy, you can find faults with her behind her back. Do it that way. You didn't have to do it in front of His Highness. I was irrational. I think... You should step back. Act humble and apologize. And once His Highness forgets, we will settle the score with her. Highness, what do you think? I agree with you. But His Highness is refusing to see me. Don't worry. He's just angry now. How's this? Ranyang? Yes. Take the Phoenix Seal to Gao Yin. Tell him that I've realized my mistake. I know I'm not fit to be Empress. Ask him to take the seal back. Yes. Greetings, Highness. Rise. Highness, she hasn't eaten or stopped crying either. Han Yun, open the door. Han Yun! Where's this from? Tell him that I'm fine. Easy does it. Be careful. Come on, be careful. Here. Have you heard what happened yesterday? Who hasn't? The news spread all over the palace. She's really bold to anger Consort Xiao. Highness. Madam. I've been absent. How's our progress? Rest assured, I've got people casting the New Year's ingots for the various halls. We have received a batch of goldware. It's in the treasury. Also, we received a message. All female officials are to gather at Rensho Hall tomorrow to discuss the New Year ceremony preparations with Her Majesty and Imperial Consort Xiao. There's a mistake with the list submitted by the Ministry. Before, I'd always hosted the worship in the Imperial Harem. Why is the name of this year's officiant uh, different? It's quite simple, Your Majesty. The New Year's worship ceremony has always been hosted by the Emperor and Empress. You were the Empress previously, so it made sense for you to host it. But it's a new reign this year. So the efficient now should be the holder of the Phoenix Seal, don't you think so? Huh. Remember that you're the acting holder. But that isn't important. What's important is that I'm the holder of the seal. What nonsense! The worship 
is always hosted by the finest in the harem. If you were Empress, I'd say fine. But you're merely a consort. How dare you be so presumptuous? You don't get to say that I'm presumptuous. This is a big state event. His Highness gave me Empress authority. If the Ministry of Rights thinks I'm qualified to host the ceremony, then Your Majesty, you don't have to worry. Fine. Bring the Minister of Rights here. I'm going to ask how big a bribe he took. Be careful. You can't just say that mindlessly. But you have a point. The ceremony has always been hosted by the finest woman. I was Princess of Liang before I got married. Do you actually think your poor old low-status grandfather was distinguished? Consort Xiao! How dare you! I didn't mean it like that. The Lo family breeds ministers. Your ancestors were famous for their noble character, despite their low status. Everyone knows that. <coughs> Highness! <coughs> Highness! <coughs> Your Majesty. You're clearly getting old now. You can't even breathe. You better rest in the royal harem. Just let me handle the ceremony. I promise I'll do a good job. I take my leave. <gasps> Highness! Doctor! Doctor, quick! Aunt, simmer down. <sighs> that consort Xiao has gone too far. You think? We should get His Majesty to teach her a few manners. No need. They had a big quarrel. But she managed to coax Yan in no time. Then I was wrong. That Huan Yun is sharp-tongued, as if a consort could host the Northern Chi worship ceremony. It's utterly ridiculous. Look, just simmer down. How about this? I remember the fringed hairpin worn by Empress Zhao during the ceremony, is still kept in the palace. We'll go and ask for that. During the ceremony, you'll wear it openly. And then, everyone will be stunned. We'll show those foreign ministers the actual bearing of an empress. Mm. The most precious item in our treasury. I heard that founding Empress Zhao hired 12 craftsmen to create it, and it took three years for them to complete. As it's really precious, every empress would only actually wear it once every year, during the ceremony. Since former Empress Yu died, it's kept in the treasury, and not been taken out. Empress Yu? What about this empress? Her majesty isn't the late emperor's first wife. She was made the empress after Empress Yu died. I heard that just the Emperor's first wife can wear it. I believe that she wants this hairpin to daunt Consort Xiao at the ceremony. I agree. Whatever happens, we simply have to hand it over. Madam, a decree from Hang Guang Hall. Consort Xiao's decree. The management of treasures must hand over the hairpin. The end. I hear this. Madame Ruan, is her plan to wear the fringed hairpin during the ceremony? Why does it matter? But Her Majesty has Quiet. already... Please listen. Linglong didn't mean it. Please don't take it to heart. We will hand over the fringed hairpin, which Consort Xiao has requested, but the hairpin is made out of gold, and it's been in the dark for years. It won't be very shiny. If I give it to you as is, it wouldn't look pretty when she's wearing it during the ceremony. Why don't I get some of my people to polish it? It'll just be two days. All right, but don't try any tricks. <sighs> Madam, are you really going to give it to them? 
If I don't hand the hairpin over, Huan Yuan will punish me. I do. Empress Lo won't let me off. Why didn't you tell Run Yang directly that Her Majesty has asked for it? The dumbest thing I could do is intimidate one person with another. But what should we do? We could ask His Highness? When we check the accounts, there's a gold phoenix crown in the treasury. Yes, but that's from the Wade Dynasty. Take it to the workshop unit, have it polished, and bury the hairpin in soil. Leave it there for 12 hours. Lu Zhen, why are you looking for Her Majesty so urgently? Your Majesty, Your Excellency, I've sought this meeting to give you some advice. The hairpin is well known, but I have to say, it isn't suitable for Her Majesty to wear. Could you explain? The fringed hairpin was created decades ago. Precious, but a little outdated. Whereas this phoenix crown, if you wear this instead, your majesty will look very dignified. Bring it over to me. The golden threads are woven very nicely. But you've forgotten. Only an empress can wear the phoenix crown in the royal harem. That isn't true, Highness. This crown doesn't belong to the current dynasty, so it's okay for you to wear it. Huh? It was worn by Empress Feng when she served as regent of Wei Dynasty, most powerful dynasty of the Xianbei. She served as regent for more than a decade, and was a heroine admired by everyone. Around half of Northern Qi came from Wei. Many ministers used to be Xianbei generals. Your Majesty, if you wear this crown during the ceremony, I believe the ministers of Wei will admire you wholeheartedly. Her Excellency is correct. Right. Take the hairpin. I'll keep the Phoenix Crown. Thank you, Majesty. I'll take my leave. Hold on. You said that you manage the treasury. I'm Lu Zhen, an eighth rank official. You are Lu Zhen. Come here. Let me take a look at you. A beautiful girl indeed. I believe you're more beautiful than Consort Shell. I understand you were aggrieved with that incident. Thank you, Majesty. How did you think of the crown idea? Well, I heard that you were from Shenbei. <laughs> you're extremely thoughtful. <laughs> Aunt, look, I've groomed Lu Zhen. She is clever and quick-witted. Remember for your birthday, she created a longevity curtain, and she had lovingly added the Xianbei word of longevity onto it as well. I remember. Also, you created that white vase, lovely porcelain. Come up to me. I've long wanted to have a good talk with you. Yes. Pray to God to bestow his grace upon the land with wind and rain 
we've prospered from the past. Until now, thanks to the blessings of God. We pray to God to protect the land. Thank you for bringing wind and rain. The crops are growing and there is peace. Our thanks to you, great God. God bless our soil so that northern she is prosperous. Long life to Imperial Consort Shao! Her Royal Majesty has arrived! Greetings, Mother. Greetings, Majesty. Please rise. Your Majesty, was that Empress Dowager Fong's... Beidong! 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 What does Beidong mean? Beidong? means long life in Qianbei. 